Hi there, my name is Sabri Bloomberg and I'm the Deputy Chief Operating Officer here at MGE. This week's tip of the week is how to make your hygiene department more profitable. So the first thing to take a look at is how many active patients do you have and are they compliant with regards to their hygiene schedule. There is an actual formula that is used um, in the industry. If you need a copy of this formula to see how many hygiene days you should have based upon the number of active charts you have, feel free to give us a call or contact us on our website and we'd be happy to provide this. The next thing to take a look at is, is your hygienist actually using all of her skills? So you can have the hygienist sit down and in your state have them, there's certain things that a hygienist is allowed to do. For example, a hygienist is allowed to do sealants, hygienist is allowed to do scaling and root planning, hygienist is, is allowed to uh, do perial maintenance, to do cleanings. Um, take a look at what your hygienist should be doing or what are they capable of doing and what services are they capable of providing for the patient and are they actually doing those for your patient. If they're not and they're only doing cleanings, they're taking very limited care of your patients and that could be holding your production down. The third thing that could be uh, suppressing your hygiene production is the type of insurances that you take. In um, certain insurances, for example, certain HMOs don't pay anything for a hygiene visit. So if you are involved with those, those kinds of insurances, you cannot expect to make any money off of hygiene. Uh, if you want to get out of those insurances, please feel free to give us a call and we'll give you any recommendations that we can give you in order to turn your practice into a private fee-for-service practice. So that is my tip of the week. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us on our 800 number. The number is 1-800-640-1140. Thank you.